Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Dream Queen by Perla. Um, any questions as to what it is that I do, how do I do it, services that I provide, and all of that fun stuff down below in the description. So we're gonna draw we're gonna <laughs> jump right into Taurus. Taurus, your song is Blinding Light by the Weekend. The verse is maybe you can show me how to love. Maybe. Hmm. I was listening to a song and it's kind of like, it's kind of sad. <sighs> Let's see. Whew. Let's see. What do we have? Hmm. It's asking somebody that has made so many wrong turns, so many wrong decisions, so many, um, <laughs> So many choices um, that have led somebody to really feel very empty. Um, this person, whoever it is within, you know, whether it's you, Taurus, or somebody that you're connecting with, um, really tried. They really felt at one point that if they um, invested their their love, their energy, their time, their everything amongst all of these different types of relationship and with so many different people that um, eventually they would find somebody that um, would truly love them or would truly um, take them seriously or take their love seriously. But instead, all this person did was get completely drained by all of these people that pretended to care, all of these people that pretended to love. Um, when in essence, all they were doing was using this particular person. And it's like as much as this person tried and tried and tried and tried and tried to um, to love, tried to find love, tried to um, give love, they never really felt loved. <laughs> They never really felt satisfied because whomever this person is within the Taurus energy, they have yet to know what self-love is. They have yet to know what it means to take care of self first. So until this person doesn't realize that they have to learn to love themselves before they can actually go out there and try and love someone else, then they're continuously going to be putting themselves in situations and in relationships that all that is being done and the only thing that is happening is they're being drained. They're drained. Not much to it. It's just the truth. They're just drained. And somebody within this connection, whether um, the Taurus or the other person, had to set some boundaries because um, whoever this, um, whoever the person is to set the boundaries, had to set it, had to set them down because it was just too much. It was too much of the back and forth. It was too much of the neediness. It was too much of the wanting. Too much of the oh, excuse me. Too much of the wanting. Um, that like that love to be reciprocated and not um for it not to be met is what i'm trying to um say i guess yeah there's multiple people here that are now hurt because one person decided that they wanted to invest in more than one person um so you have people on either side um that are just hurt like i see a lot of people connected to the Taurus that are just hurt and want revenge, one want you to get what you deserve, want you to get your karma back. As as always, you know, if you are 
if you're playing with multiple people, you're entertaining multiple people, sooner or later things catch up to you. And when they do, you may not like it because you are going to reap exactly what you sow. And it's for some, when it comes to within the Taurus energy, there are going to be a lot of um, many blow ups when it comes to um, certain people or um, literally having like two different family like, like dynamics. Um, there are people that, um, whether male or female, whoever it is, um, we're living a double life or having two like s separate family, like um, where these two individuals um did not know of each other and it was kind of um weird because they were not that far from each other if that makes any sense it was just more of like um they really didn't frequent the same places even though they were probably just like a town or two over but a lot of things are being revealed a lot of um secrets are being exposed um whether you know again whether your person is a Taurus or whether you're a per you're you're the Taurus you know vice versa um it's just energy but there are a lot of things that are being ex exposed a lot of hidden secrets um that in that involved multiple family members multiple people meaning either somebody had a secret family hidden somewhere or somebody has multiple children with multiple people that somebody else was unaware of or multiple females are currently pregnant by multiple by by one man or there is a female that's pregnant currently and does not know who of the multiple males that she was dating um had is the the daddy -o. um <laughs> again you can go ahead and decide for that however that works in your life this is just a general message for all but that's what i see i see a lot of um because so many people have been hurt so many people have been um just constantly um, sleeping around and just constantly trying to feel that void and trying to feel that sadness or whatever people have been entangling and sleeping around with so many different people that now we have this huge big blow up of you know I'm pregnant she's pregnant this she's pregnant like you know one dude is gonna have like five or six girls pregnant at the same time there's gonna be one girl who's gonna be pregnant she's gonna be like oh my god I slept with these four around the same time and I have no idea who the heck the daddy is um there's gonna be situations where both females and males are coming up with um secret families that they had hidden from everyone else um that nobody knew that you know they had this wife and these kids um that they've had for many years there's just a lot of explosive um blowouts when it comes to within the Taurus energy again this can be you this can be somebody that you related to however it is um that is in an essence what i'm picking up a lot of people are being exposed and a lot of people are going to start reaping their karma when it comes to whether whether it was that you were intentionally hurting somebody or you were honestly and trying to free yourself or trying to heal yourself which it doesn't really matter which end of the spectrum you're in you're getting your karma so if what you were you know what you were sowing into you know into your life and into other people's life was something that was um coming from a hurt place was coming from a place of wanting to hurt wanting to be deceived or wanting to um make everyone's life miserable then that is exactly what you're going to reap if you're what you were sowing was coming from a place of healing a place of wanting to 
be set free of a place um, coming from, you know, unconditional love and wanting to see other people healed and blah, 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 then that is exactly what you are going to reap. So it really doesn't matter. When we talk about karma, it goes to both spectrums, whether it is something good or something bad, it really doesn't matter. But whatever it is that you have been investing your energy in, whatever it is that you have been giving out, whatever it is that you have been pouring into other people's life is exactly what you are going to be receiving back it is what it is Taurus that is all that I have for you that was kind of like a little heavy 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 reading um, we will see how this turns out Ooh. <clears throat> Taurus 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 I mean Taurus are usually pretty well grounded and pretty um, with it for the most part so um, again it doesn't mean that you know, it could be your person, people that you're dealing with, family members, whatever it is. When you see this message, you will know if this applies directly to you or to people that you are surrounding yourself with. Again, as always, I want to say thank you for watching. Thank you for all the love and support. And I will see you guys real soon. Love you. Bye-bye. And we're going to end it now, right? <laughs>